alternate slide positions. You should learn your alternate slide positions because it minimizes alternate moving in and out of the slide. And that's really important when you wanna play really fast stuff like so. Okay, so if you play the B flat scale, the higher one, you can play the D in first like this. You can play it in four and a half like this. And the reason why four and a half is better is because if I try to play the scale fast, like this, that's really tough and uh, I can't do it. So I play in four, that way I don't have to do There's also stuff you can do in the lower range like this. Instead of playing, say, an F arpeggio like this, there's two ways you can do it. You can play C in first, or you can play everything in six, except for the A, which you play with trigger five. It sounds like this. And if you really wanted to, you could play that arpeggio like actually well instead of whatever I just did. <laughs> so anyway, use alternate positions. Do it all the time.